Oh! Oh, you are just the cutest little things on earth. Right here, where I'm standing right now, we are gonna be inside of the plans, the backyard, the inside of the house. Now I have one of two spots to put this massive 350 gallon saltwater tank. That won't be there in about a week. <laughs> All right, this right here, Gaffaro's, is the new PC farm. Officially owning it. First time. The PC packs are back. And this right here is the last drop I'm gonna be doing of the PC packs. If you're like, what the heck are the PC packs? Let me tell you. Each individual pack is hand packed by me. I spent hours and hours of my time packing these, by the way. Each pack has six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep in mind, this is one of many things on the site. The front card is gonna be signed by me. The others are random cards from all different series. And the last card is a hit. Whether it's a reverse holo, holo, GX, EX, no matter what, you get a shiny card. Just like the other drops, this time I'm doing four vintage pack giveaways. So every PC pack you buy is an entry into winning a vintage pack. You can't beat it. One pack, one entry. So four different winners this time. And this time we actually made first edition packs. These are 19 95 first edition Pokemon cards and I made my own custom packs with the PC signature as well Those are also live and I can promise you those sold out in like two minutes last time This right here is new. These are the brand new 25th anniversary Pokemon cards. They're all hollows So if you buy a pack of these every single card is a hollow and every pack you buy you have a chance of winning the Venusaur or the Blastoise hollow from the 25th anniversary So you buy a pack of straight hollow cards and you have the chance of winning one of those two beautiful cards This is why every time I do a Pokemon drop Everything sells out. A bag full of extra goodies and some more hits. In every single order, I'm putting some of this stuff. Look at these jumbo cards. Just purchase anything. Some of this stuff will come in your order, no matter what. Did I mention every order comes with a PC sticker as well? We've got mystery tins, mystery Pokemon balls, all the information for what's inside these things. It Well, it's a mystery, but they're in the description of all the products. I also have a bunch of individual cards up on the website for sale. Go to the website, check everything out. Get yourself a PC pack, a 25th anniversary pack, or even a first edition pack. I'm telling you, whatever you purchase, you won't regret it. It's an awesome deal and it's a lot of fun. So it is gonna be the top link in the description. I've done this once or twice before and everything sells out. So make your purchases right now. Click the link. Again, a whole lot more is on the site. So go check it out. Top link. I've said it too many times. Enjoy the video. <laughs> What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video. This is a different environment, different background, different house. I'm here at the new PC farm, and you're probably asking yourself, like I'll mention later on the video, what the heck do you mean? What are the plans? Why did I buy this other house? And all that will be explained in this video today. First things first, we gotta go to the other PC farm. Now we now have two farms, wasp. Feed all the animals there, and then we're gonna come back here to then give you a full tour inside, outside, pretty much everything. What's to come, and a whole lot more here at the new house, so. Without further ado, enjoy, and I'll see you right back here after the farm. We are here at the PC farm, which you all know of, and we're about to feed all the animals quickly. Gary! Hey! Kevin! What up, Kevin? There you go. And they all run. Food! And there's the thieves again. The thieves are back. Hey, stay away. Look at you guys. You're going so big. Boots, relax for a second, all right? But I mean, Bambi's the only one that really doesn't care when I pet her. Twisty's a lot better than Chunky Monkey. Oh, you are just the cutest little things on earth. There he is, Boots Emilius. How you doing, buddy? Here you go, eat up a little bit. There you go, goats. Oh my goodness, Oscar is such a bully. Oh, looks like the pigs did some damage to their house. That used to be like a little tea hut. It's uh, no longer that, it's flat. And Mango, ow! Buddy, when are you gonna stop being so mean? Huh? There you go, eat up. Lady May. Oh. Load it up on food. Come on, Willow. Come in here. All right, make sure Mama gets her own bowl locked up. Although she gets out of this hole right here, and so do all the little babies. Woo! -hoo! The PC fell off. If you're curious on what's going on with all these monsters, yes, they're literally huge now. Look at the gar. This, we obviously have plans to upgrade now that the fish are bigger at the new place. And of course, we're gonna bring all this beautiful filtration. We actually have the heater on right now with this colder weather, you know, but all of this, every bit of this, the UV filter in the back, this is like $15,000 in filtration. It's coming with us. Obviously gonna have a little team, but yes, this is like in the lots of weeks worth of building and working and a lot of content for y'all. So the best way to put it is everything I I have here is being built on a whole different level. Learning from all my mistakes and building it the correct way, that way we don't have any more mistakes. Let's just say I'm very excited. Woo, welcome. 
And hi, new neighbors. Big driveway, this is crazy. Okay, here she is. Officially owning it. First time. I've never seen this place before, I just bought it. Wow! <laughs> okay. All the power's off. All right, well, that was anticlimactic. The power is off. I'm gonna call my mommy real quick and see why that's happening. Oh, I still call your mom? <laughs> yeah, dude, when it comes to things like this, you know. Power was on last night. The second I sign a paper this morning, they just go. All right, this right here, Gaffaro's, is the new PC farm. Well. I crashed a drone. And you're probably asking yourself, what the heck do you mean? I started off my whole entire journey here on YouTube digging ponds. I literally had a shovel and I started digging. That was like three or four years ago now, four years. In my parents' backyard. From there, we actually got the first PC farm, which was an incredible purchase. It was, I, I actually would not be where I'm at without that purchase. Although that's like an hour from my family, my friends, everyone that lived in town. It was far from. So I lived out there for about two years. I ended up purchasing the fish house is what you guys know it as. That's where the fish room is. That was strictly more of an investment property. After being in there for about six months, I just purchased this house. This is the third house. I have three under my belt right now. Although the original farmhouse at some point, once we rebuild this and bring everything here, we'll be selling that. Then I'll be down to two, and probably with the equity from that house, I'll be buying another investment property because the whole goal is to build an empire of real estate. Hello, new neighbor. How are you? So great to see ya. <laughs> he didn't look at me. All right. <laughs> so in today's video, we're gonna be showing you like the plans, the backyard, the inside of the house, everything. Although we're gonna be doing like a much more in-depth video on this all once we start building the pond and the fish house and all that stuff. It'll all make sense, I promise. So let's go in. That won't be there in about a week. <laughs> this is the backyard, man. It, it's, it's cool. Huge. It's really big, yeah. it is. So this property is actually only half the size of the other property. There is an acre and a quarter out here in the original farmhouse. I don't even use half the yard. Where the cows were, I don't use that. The enclosures for the pigs are like four times the size they need to be. So I decided to buy a property closer into town. This is my home, Jupiter, Florida, where I was raised, not born, but pretty much born. I was born actually in New York, but, but we, you know, I grew up in Jupiter. Jupiter's my home. It's where family, friends are, and this is where I wanted to be. And financially, I was ready to make a purchase here. It's just a lot more expensive. So when I had to buy my first house, it had to be somewhere a bit cheaper, like an hour away west. So along this whole front of the property, there's gonna be enclosures. I think up front there, like between the driveway hole right there, will be an enclosure at some point, but I'm not gonna make that one yet. That's like later on. Where I'm standing though, this right here will be an enclosure for the pigs. So this will be one pig enclosure. I don't know exactly which pigs will be here, probably the hogs. This right here will probably be the big pigs, Lady May and Mango, y'all know them. In the corner over here, I'm thinking in this corner we're gonna do the duck pond. So we're gonna dig, we're bringing every duck over. We're even bringing our wild Muscovy over Kevin. We'll just clip his wings a little bit, which they will grow back, but by the time they grow back, he'll be normalized fed here and won't leave again. So Kevin, Gary, the babies, the mallard, everyone's coming here. Dude, think about the video of trying to catch all those ducks. Yeah. <laughs> 30 something, 40 ducks, it's gonna be a mission. So right now you could see like my neighbors, you could see everyone. In about a week, I'm telling like, after this video goes live, the day later we are going to be digging a pond, building a warehouse, um, landscape, like this place is gonna be a wreck here in about like a week. We're doing everything in the matter of like a month or two. So the whole like, enclosure building and all that stuff. I'm just gonna be doing it all at once because no one wants to watch all that all over again. Now the fish house I'm building, which we'll get to in just a second, that I'm gonna film like parts to because that's an epic build. But I'm not gonna be repetitive, so don't worry about that like when it comes to building the enclosures and all that. I'll just kind of film that throughout other videos. Anyway, high landscape will be along this whole entire side and all along that whole entire side over there. And if you look closely, there's already calusias all along that side that will grow super, super high, so we don't have to worry about that. Now forgive me for so much talking, but that's what this video is. This right here, where we're sitting, I feel like it's a little bit more moist, so this probably was a pond at some point, but they filled it in. So this is gonna be a pond again, and then this will be gated in to where the ducks will be staying. Now right here, right here, where I'm standing right now, we are gonna be inside a fish room. I wanna make this fish room a minimum of around 1,200 square feet. To give you a size comparison, the fish room at my other fish house right now is about 200 square feet, but it's probably gonna end up being like 
12 times the size, so I'll probably double that. It's gonna be massive. And that's where this will be. So that'll all be, this literally will all be a warehouse. 6,000 gallon aquarium, 4,000 gallon aquarium. I mean, dude, the things I have in mind. My dream pet, an otter. I've always wanted an otter. That enclosure is getting built here at this house. I'm getting my permit. All that stuff's happening. So Caferos, like I said, there's a lot of talking in this video, but all this is going to make sense, hence why I'm explaining it now. By the way, I'm not telling you everything I'm doing. I'm not spoiling everything. I have a lot other things that I'm gonna be doing that I can't, I'm not gonna obviously say right away. So this right here, where these two big trees are right here, this is gonna be where my eight pigs are, the whole family, Lulu's family, Lulu, Bubba, Blue, the family of pigs. This is where they're gonna be, under these two trees right here, it'll all be gated in. They will be nice and happy with natural shade, and that's another thing about this house. Do I have a little chihuahua next door that's gonna <laughs> bug me every day? There's a lot of natural shade, bro. Yeah, that's look perfect right there. There's so much natural shade. This tree's perfect for the pigs, you know? Yeah. Like, look at that tree. That's It's insane, there's so much shade. If you look at my other house, I mean, there ain't a single tree. I had to put shade sails in all this, on the other enclosures. We have some projects that I'm obviously not gonna film much of, but you'll see going on. Like, uh, we're gonna build a pool. There's gonna be a dope fire pit area over there. So we'll do some cool stuff around here for like, you know, friends and people to come over. That enclosure will probably cut off about right here. There'll be a fence. And then there'll be another enclosure right here where the goats will be. So I'll have the family of pigs and the goats next to the family of pigs. I don't know, right here looks a little pondy if you ask me. It looks like there should be a pond right there. Yeah. Um, so that could be a possible video. Let me know if you want to see an OG pond build. I mean, when I come out here with a shovel and a couple friends, we dig a pond right here. Smash the like button, comment down below. Let me know. This right here will be another enclosure. Super easy to feed. You just walk a circle. We have made a complete loop here. Come on through, Chris. This front yard spot is big. This will be a massive enclosure. I don't know exactly what we're going to get for it. I have a couple different ideas. See if this right here, if this was a pig enclosure. Dude, this is what the pigs have in the wild. Right here, this is literally what hogs go through and make dens in and stuff like that. There's a animal hole right there. Look at that. Something is living in there. And there's another hole Probably under a there. possum or something. Yeah, a possum or a raccoon or something. <gasps> Did I get you? I don't know, maybe, I probably got you. This is super, super nice. I, I, I just look at stuff like this differently than probably a lot of you watching. Probably like, Paul, it's just a bunch of trees. I know, <laughs> it is actually. Everything I've done in these past couple weeks with all these different house buys and all this stuff led me to here. I knew this was my vision. I had all of this planned and the only way to do it was to be bouncing back and forth to all these different houses. And none of it's possible without you, so just know how grateful I am for you watching and I am very blessed. I understand that I'm very blessed to have this lifestyle. I'm living my dream, that's it. And it's all possible because of you who watch every single video. And buy the merch. <laughs> and buy the merch, yes. <laughs> this right here, this fence is not gonna be here either. This is gonna be a barn. So a barn will be built right here and it's gonna have a stall out to this big enclosure that who knows what we'll get for eventually. I don't know, maybe big birds, if you know what I mean. The big enclosure, barn connected to this big front enclosure. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. There'll be like eight total enclosures on this entire farm. Six of them being filled up already, so we'll have two, which are these two front ones and maybe a third inside the back part that have nothing in them. All right, listen, boys and girls, now that we showed you the outside, you know what's going on, it's time to go in. Here we are at the new cribbo. Power is on and I can't wait to show you guys this. We don't know whether we're gonna be doing this as the living room or uh, back. Here is the living room, so it's one of the two. I think this would be a cooler living room in my opinion because you get to see all the animals and everything. And once we get a pool, you're closer to all the experience. We put a pool table and make it a fun room. We put some big blue bag chairs or something back here. Yeah. Can make it like part of your office too. Bro. Right, guys. The kitchen, brand spanking new. I mean, very nice. It's nice to have something done already. This is the first house I bought that was like already done. Over here is like the guest rooms. They have their own privacies. Um, bathrooms, two bedrooms. Beautiful bathroom, man. I mean, don't even need to touch anything. Literally, it's such a great feeling. And then over here is going to be the office. This is where I'll be, I mean, I say I'm gonna be editing my videos in here, but I usually sit on the couch or in bed or something like that. But if we hire anyone else to do the videos with me, which is probably gonna be needed with all the work that we're gonna have going on, they'll probably stay in there until you come over here and this is the master right here. Um, I love the doors too. Like, they're not just flat doors, they have this nice design on them. And this right here is uh, the 
master bedroom. It's got straight access out to the backyard. I mean, literally right out to the backyard. At some point, I want to make this a patio and connect it all to that patio with a screen and stuff like that. But yeah, big old bathroom too. We got a massive bathroom. Look at this. It's huge. Oh, you got a two sink, right? Yep. There's two sinks. It's big. On out of here, we have closet, which has nothing in it. We have to custom the closet. And what I don't have in one of the two houses, at least, is a garage. In this house, we do have a garage. Big old garage, no washer and dryer yet. That is delivered on the first of next month. Which is actually the day I think this video will be live. Check this out. I bought this little freezer for when we get the fish room all set up, the new one, the fish building, I should say, because it's not really a room anymore. But this freezer is going to go inside the fish building room, <laughs> fish warehouse. Everything will be kept in here. Now I have one of two spots to put this massive 350 gallon saltwater tank we are getting in January. Top Shelf and I are doing a collaboration where they're gonna gift us, the Caferos, a big old saltwater tank, fully set it up. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos with them here in January, that's at least the plan. I have either this place to put it, I don't know if it's gonna fit, I have to still do the measurements, or I could put it here and do like that massive tank right here with the pool table and all that stuff. We really have no idea where a lot of things are going. We just literally signed on this house today. This is my first time being at it as an official owner, like the first time. And I just decided to grab the camera. Let's get the raw reaction of myself. You now have a rundown on the inside and the outside of the new house. I actually had a plan for this too. Chris and I actually were talking about this. How cool would it be to make this like come up like two feet with the plywood? So raise it up about two feet like here and kind of just like the thousand gallon in the fish room, make all of this, literally all of this, a pond. Think about that. All around the front of the house, about two feet up and dig in the ground a little bit, a pond. That would be epic. Now listen, I've spoke about a lot of projects in this video. I've kind of teased some and I haven't even said some. So all I'm gonna tell you is hit the subscribe button. It's right down below, it's totally free. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed right now, which I know about 50% of you are not subscribed, smash the subscribe button, hit it down below, subscribe. You don't wanna miss out on all these projects. We're gonna be taking everything I pretty much own from both these houses here, this is where I'm gonna be staying. This is this is the new PC farm. Although it's not the PC farm yet, I mean this is this is it, and it's by my family, my friends, everything. These last couple of years, I have worked for this moment right here. So um, yeah, I just want to thank every single one of you for watching, because obviously none of this, none of this right here is possible without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Caferos. I love each and every one of you. The people that come back every single video and watch them all, thank you so much. And sheesh, I can't wait to show you what we got in store. Peace. I released PC tumblers, would you buy them? Let me know in the comments.